Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City with me, Get Daved. So last time, well, things were very different last time. So I'm just gonna hop out to the region and give you all a point, uh, or a point of view on things. It's filled up quite nicely. Uh, every city except one is currently in development, and that last one is actually uh, offered up. We're just waiting for the one person to get back to us. There's four million simoleons in the region, including a ton in Get Davedenheim, which had a million before I started inventing better nuclear reactors and solar panels. Uh, got kind of expensive. Um, population's gone up, and there we go. Cut the ribbon, everybody. The solar farm is done. 115,000 crates of plastic. 45,000 processors. Seriously? Provide more sims to fill these jobs. Or bulldoze all the existing jobs in your city. That'll show them. Oh, this looks okay. Here we go. I'm not exactly sure how this works, so let's just crank up the speed. Yeah, three thousand megawatts, pollution free, no less. How does this thing work? It looks like they've got a giant focusing lens and then a huge array of solar panels. There we go. So, great work one complete. What else we got out there? Now, a lot of things have changed uh, since the last video. I mean, it was all really incremental and nothing too crazy. Um, and I may forget some of the details because it's been a while since... Oh no! Want them staying at the solar farm. Yep. That could be a really horrible place to live, if we play our cards right. Smack dab between the recycling plant and uh, the incinerator for the trash heap. Yep. Good place for a Burger King. Let's just take a look at the property value, as expected. Uh, so this would be okay for a cesspool. We'll be getting that notice a lot. I'm not sure what to do. I have a trade despot. Let's see if we can just plant like a row of trees or something. And I don't normally approach it this way, but I'm going to just pop in here into the edit mode on this. Just to prove to all of you that I know that you can do it this way. Tall Tree Row. Decent band name. Okay. Land value. I can never find it. There we go. Not rock bottom. Not much more than that either, but... What? What the heck? What? Well then send fire trucks you fools. Fly you fools. Get the mother fire off the mother solar farm. All right, everybody. Sorry, I'm just gonna try introducing you around town quickly while the solar farm burns. Like, can I share resources with that? Like, what no talent clowns did we send there? Look, I understand that it could catch on fire. I was just hoping that wouldn't happen in uh, the first eight seconds of its life. 
That's kind of anticlimactic. That's what she said. Um... Recent fire. It appears to be on fire as we speak. Please put out the fire. Also, it's weird that the one spot that's not under a focusing lens burst into flames. Uh, yeah. Okay, it looks like I can't really... send it fire trucks, so... Oh, someone else must have a Department of Science. Yes, all these cities are starting to get pretty advanced, which is something we'll be addressing in a little while. Well, I'm just gonna assume that the fire truck's gonna go on its own, because... I don't know how I would dispatch one to it. They're really good at putting out hazmat fires, apparently. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Uh, extinguish. Alright, I give up on that. Yeah, we do get some crime from neighboring towns. Anyway, yeah, so what you missed. Um, a lot of stuff, I don't know, hasn't changed that much, but I did research the vertical turbines, and this entire city was wind-powered for a while, um, which worked out really well, because it's actually quite windy, um, and I think it's windier near the coast, but uh, then it slowed down, so I don't know if someone downwind is using up all the good wind. Uh, I like to blame a lot of my problems on Zion over there. But, uh... Anyway, we had a giant bulldozing, as I am want to do. <laughs> we saved the precious panels. 200 souls were lost. Uh, but that's okay, it's easy to get more sims. So, in response to that, I constructed a nuclear power plant, which I'm actually really happy with. Uh, they're awesome. Right now we're working on the Gen 2 reactor. Um, it's basically only really more space efficient. Um, they guzzle a lot of water as well, as you can see, it's steaming like crazy. Um, but for the amount of power you get, 200 megawatts, it's just great, and it's clean. Um, and it doesn't create air pollution or ground pollution. If you have an uneducated workforce, um, it will create radiation. But, uh, you know what, that's alright. Alright, the Trade Depot was upgraded to a Trade Port, and I'm bringing it in by sea now. And I actually have to manage one thing, because I was importing plastics. Um, and now, that was just to speed up construction on the solar farm. Because that was secretly the plan for that all along. But we can switch to exporting. Also, there's an important difference between a Trade Depot and a Trade Port. I didn't realize that first, and that's... Uh, I'll show you real quick. No need to use that locally anymore. Uh, we'll go into edit mode here. So, we can build the oil ones and everything, but... <laughs> pardon me. Trade port. I've forgotten who and where I am. Yeah, never mind. I want to bulldoze that one. Because you can have... I feel like the city didn't fully sink last time. Anyway. Outworks is the Trade Depot uh, is smaller, but it's easier to build a whole bunch of the uh, useful things for trade. Yeah, there's the Trade Depot I rebuilt. Because I couldn't sell my alloy or my metal. Uh, which was a pain. But uh, that's all taken care of now, and we don't actually need this uh, trade port anymore. But it does have a few things of plastic. It would be a shame if we didn't get a chance to export them. So I'm going to give them a few seconds to do that, and then I'm going to bulldoze it. This is a uh, really horrible land where we could build absolutely nothing useful in its place. Something's full. 
Yeah, it's not that big a deal. Some people have mentioned that I could uh, smelt a lot faster. Oh, we're starting to use up our coal. There we go. And that's definitely true, but um, at the rate we're producing stuff, uh, I think we're okay for now. Whoa! Murderer on the loose. What's going on over there? Thought I saw a complaint elsewhere as well. City needs more power. Well, not as long as we keep importing electricity. I'm just going to take a quick pick over at uh, my friend and yours, the solar farm. Yeah, there we go. Alright, apparently that murderer is uh, becoming a bit of an issue. Also, there's a little funny glitch in the game where this house, no matter what, will always have no power. So, I'm gonna bulldoze it. They'll start construction again right away, unless I D zone, which I'm gonna try. Because, uh, nothing else has really worked. We'll see if it works with them building two separate buildings now. That's actually a really high value area, too. Tough to say if that's a beautiful sunset or an enormous amount of pollution. And by the way, I know it looks dirty coming out of the nuclear power plant, but it's super duper clean. So don't worry about it. Alright, now we have the trade port doing its thing, uh, and we can move materials super quickly because of the uh, harbor. Hmm, what do you have to say? Health, not wealth? Yeah. How bad can it be? My population's actually starting to go up quite a bit. All right, good enough. You exported. All right, I'm gonna put residential here. Wow, they really like not having that trade port there anymore. It was a cesspool. And there's no property value there. I've tried working with this area quite a few times and never really had any success. Uh, we'll try one more time, but they're always upset about lack of land value and frequent murders. Sims are the worst. Hmm. Looks like maybe we won't uh, get that road. We could do one here. And actually, that would probably be for a net benefit in the end, so I'm going to go for that. And let's try a park here. Park here! Try to raise some value. Partial success? There's a massive neutralizing force coming out of here. The neutralizing force is a concept you might be unfamiliar with. It's from the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Made it up just now. That's why you come to these Let's Plays. Oh my goodness, what's going on over there? Okay. I was planning on doing a tour of the region once everything was constructed, but we may have to pay a visit to Zion right now. Because I wonder... And you know what? Let's try exporting our trash, too. Oh, and get Davidenheim. And I'm importing trash.
Technically, I could be making some money off of that, but... I'm not sure if that's something I want to continue doing. Anyway... Part of the problem could be the recycling. Um, and by the way, I only have plastic. I know I can build alloy and uh, metal as well. Actually... What an interesting point, Dave. I was wondering what I would put here. Bulldoze it all, even though I just placed them moments ago. Metal reclamation line I recommend putting off to the side because it's a lot bigger than the other ones. For some reason, the alloy one is even smaller. All right, crank up the recycling. Pump up the jam. I'd like to avoid bulldozing that if I can, for some reason. Why are you no place? Sometimes you get a glitch where you can't place things. Alright. So we should be able to collect more bins now. We've got the max of... Uh, got the max of the delivery, or er, pickup trucks. It could be from its terrible location, but... I mean, I don't really want to put it in the middle of town. Start processing that stuff. Alright, and now Zion needs police? Yeah, you think. Alright, what's our police coverage like? A little bit of lag. Shipped out all the patrol cars. But honestly, I don't like that we're getting that many criminals coming in from there. Yeah, we've got some pretty awesome traffic problems in town. In theory, a recent update patch reduced that. Um, and to be fair, I think it did. But, uh... <laughs> I wish we could build more uh, access ramps to the highway. Huh. Worried about crime here, yeah, look at all that graffiti. Yep, time to crank it up, everybody. So, because someone built a nice legal wing elsewhere on their university, Department of Law, we can build uh, detectives now who can arrest people before they commit crimes. Normal police can only arrest someone during a crime. But I am gonna... significantly pump up the police force. That's pretty cool. That's tempting as well, but let's see if that what the steps I took right now will be enough. That was a pretty big deal, what we did there. You dirty thieves. Coming into my neighborhood. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my goodness! What the hell, Zion? It's not my fault the trilogy fell apart. This traffic is my fault. I take full responsibility for that. Part of the problem is that these buildings developed facing the super road. Murder in progress? Crime is bad for profit here? I wonder if Neo is intentionally sandbagging. Yeah, we'll 
Well, you've always had low land value there. Anyway, things are looking up in this neck of the woods. Just gonna keep tearing down those homes. Yeah, you know, all of that traffic may have made it harder for the police to do their job, but at the same time, it's really hard to murder someone when you're stuck in traffic. I mean, sure, you can murder anybody, but I mean, you probably had someone in mind. And bailing out your crime problems. Yeah, for some reason, this one tile never gets any energy. It's weird. Oh well. Uh, maybe we should take a look at uh, another option for great works here. Everybody can subtly enjoy the uh, benefits of, of that. Needs police. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording if the loading screen goes on for too long. Or even any amount of time. And welcome everybody to Zion. Looks very nice. Too much crime, we should move too much crime. What's their D? Oh my goodness! There's no way this was accidental. There you go. Oh my goodness, what happened here? Zero arrests per day, so he's built a whole bunch of casinos. I would be shocked if this is... Well, I don't know what's going on. The budget's balanced, at least. Good for them on that. I mean, not having any city services... Surely has to help. Taxing... <laughs> oh my goodness! It's Karl Marx's nightmare. Well, at least we're not taxing the job creators. It would be a shame if, uh... The city got too tough to live in. <laughs> Very environmentally conscious, though. I'll give it that. Vertical turbines. Worth noting on the vertical turbine, it's not exactly more effective at generating electricity um, in terms of cost per megawatt, but they are more space efficient. So, yeah, let me just take a look at... Uh, Am I running the city right now? No. No, I just get to look at things. And yeah, zero spent on police. I wonder if there's a VU tower. We look at fire coverage, yeah. I think the VU tower is under police though, so he just... The VU tower can generate a whole bunch of criminals as well. It brings in a tourist and turns them into... Yeah, things are looking pretty rough here. Well, let's see who else is out there. Oh, this is going to make me automatically load my city again. That's kind of annoying. I wish I could jump around a little bit more easily. Well, be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome to Honeysuckle Marsh. Creeper Payne built this city. It has a population of about 200,000. Man, a lot of people have some cool islands going on. I wish I had some cool islands, but I am still happy with what I've got. You can see the sights of the neighboring cities here. It looks pretty cool once you get the whole metro region together. If we uh, pan the camera, you can see the solar farm working over there. Really nice skyscraper density and construction still in works. A little bit of some tight roads down there. <laughs> what you need is to bulldoze everything. Ooh, a plumb bob park. <laughs> That's pretty fun. How does one even get that? Is it like... That's pretty cool. Maybe I just never bothered looking at it. A plumb bob is a device you dangle from a string, and it's got a weight and then sort of arrow on the end. It helps you tell if things are straight up and down. 
I also make great monuments for parks. High taxes. Yeah, those are kind of high taxes. Gotta pay all those police, though. It's almost like there's an external event causing us all to have to invest way too heavily in our police forces. Wow, look at all the parks. Dude was seriously concerned about land value. I like that. Yeah. Interesting, um... Like, he, st he definitely has his residential section down here, but, uh... <laughs> super, super, super high value residential section. That's so cool. But, um... Really intense integration of all the different zones over there. Very interesting. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Crackton. Uh, it appears I've come at a bad time. For those of you... Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh, but they're exporting processors, so that's how they're holding the economy up. Yeah, you can definitely make a lot of money doing that. About 65,000 a paw. Huh! Well, glad the airport survived. Um... Well, the city was really nice before this. It had an interesting development arc. Lots of super high value over here. I guess they're struggling. I can only imagine why the land value may have plummeted very, very, very recently. Um, but yeah, population of about 200k. It had 300k at one point, but it was sort of based on a tourism slash um, casino economy, I believe, which... I have found serious problems uh, maintaining. Oh, I wonder why he closed the trading HQ. I had to build one because of that, actually. They do get kind of expensive, but... Uh... Still, well, anyway. Some pollution problems, but you're going to get that with an oil town. Yeah, nice downtown. Oh, I can't put the camera out over the coast and get a nice vista. It's kind of weird that they didn't bother... Eh, whatever. Looks like a good place to go camping and hiking. Some very, uh... Steppish plateaus all the way up there. Right by the exit to the region, no less. Or is it the entrance? And high-density solar panels. That was one of the last things uh, researched at Get Dave Denheim U. So glad to see somebody using them. Um, I may experiment with them uh, if we do a little bit of uh, revamping of the region. Uh, Get Dave Denheim is still running on coal power, which I'm not super cool about. Um, oh my goodness. Uh the processor factory. Oh my goodness. Things are going to get real ugly here. <laughs> That's the primary source of income for here. At least they've got a, lo a lot of money. <laughs> that was a very devastating uh, disaster. The worst one, I think, by far is definitely uh, the Gojira attack. So It's too bad that's when we're taking the tour of Crackton. But uh, it was definitely a pretty amazing city. <laughs> like one hour ago. <laughs> and welcome to Genoa, everybody. It's sort of a mid-sized city, just around 100,000, very similar to mine in town. I like to think of the relationship between Crackton and Genoa as similar to mine in town and Get Dave Denheim, although I think they're probably working together a bit less intentionally, since they have different mayors. Um, that's pretty cool that... Oh, yeah! Super mega nuclear power plant. That's where it's at. Is it safe? Is it secret? Looks pretty good. Very interesting terrain here. We got two levels. Super Metropolis and the University up top. 
Uh, he did a good job not making it a Marxist hellhole down below, which is something I've tried doing. Rich people above, back-breaking slave pits below. Although that is... Oh, no. Water pump is run dry. Well. I'd offer to help, but I'm currently visiting this city. Nice skyscraper skyline. The whole region is really starting to come along on that note. Active trade port. This is actually a pretty cool map. I approve of the building of the road here. Tying it all together. I probably would have done roads like that, and that is probably an inferior choice, so... Small residential all along the outside of the town. I wonder why isn't built up there yet. Probably too steep a grade to build a road easily or something. Some heavy rail tracks. It's a university town. Let's take a look at the budget, see what he cares about. Major education, that's what I like to see. And making money off the city specialization. Pardon me, I have to put my tea down. Yeah, that's right. Keeping the taxes relatively low as well. I don't get why. Eh, whatever. Maybe that's the Canadian socialist in me being like, why don't you at least have a flat tax rate? Some medical problems, but I unfortunately don't border the city actually, so I don't think I can do much about it. Still, things are coming along quite nicely in Genoa, and with that budget, hard to argue with that. And that's investing an insane amount. And no industrial either. I wonder what the pollution's like here. It must be... It's pretty good. Oh yeah, the incinerator. Ground pollution? Don't like the garbage. Yeah, so garbage is the only real source of pollution. Well, if you could fit a recycling center in here, this could be a pretty awesome city. I dig it. This is definitely no suburb, but that's for sure. And on that, I think I don't have time to tour any more cities in the region, so I'm going to end it here. But, uh, yeah, thanks for coming around, everybody. We'll keep doing tours of the neighborhood next time, and we'll continue uh, a little bit of the business as well.